Hello, my name is Michael Keneally and this video is the introduction video to actually seven videos about the very special opportunity and challenge of August 2024 astrology. So the subtitle for the blog is Navigate the Maze of Deep and Oppositional Energy Currents that we all have to swim through August 2024. We can't avoid them, but we do need clarity because otherwise we could just be left feeling confused, disempowered, irritable. So what I'm seeking to do in these separate posts is state each of the separate energies with their own video and blog post. Because I'm convinced that if I included all seven in one video and one blog, they would get lost. So I'm hoping you'll look out for the posts upcoming and assess each of the energies separately. What actually are they? How do you feel them? And then the key <clears throat> challenge is for each of us to decide what am I going to do about this energy in terms of my life purpose unfolding now, in terms of the tasks I have to complete this month of August. So I felt it was best to cover August astrology in this way. Because if I did it all in one post, it would be overwhelming. Whereas doing a separate post for each of the major astrology August energies gives us each a better chance to become more fully aware of the nature of each energy. And crucially also, for each of us to also identify and plan pieces of perception work, vision work and intention setting near the start of the month. And then, crucially, also do the needed follow-up monitoring of how you're doing in respect of each of these energies and how they interrelate. It can be a matter of making a, a space for self-development sessions, for healing growth sessions, and planning healing and growth. So starting August 24, it's necessary to identify and chart the huge contrary direction currents we will all need to be wading through and swimming through this month. I think I chose this metaphor and I think it's very apt because where we often walk the dog near here is a peninsula sticking out into the Atlantic and it, 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 just across from the peninsula on the left is Nocnure, um, a hill with a sacred cairn to Ireland's first farmers. And ahead is the most beautiful range of little mountains, the Ox Mountains, and on the right are sheep grazing. But the actual currents in the inlet are absolutely amazing. Some of them are in contrary directions to each other. And so you have to be very careful, for example, not to throw a stick too far in the water or the dog might not be able to manage the swim back. And it just seems such an appropriate metaphor for what we humans are going to have to deal with in August 2024. 
So what you'll see as you watch the upcoming posts, there's seven of them about August astrology plus the new moon plus the full moon, is that it's necessary to identify and chart the huge contrary direction energies, the currents we will be wading through. And these currents have very different natures. Do you know what to do about them? How to handle them? And then, do you know what's work to do best to weave them together and make a conscious choice of your pathway forward to success? to empowerment, to healing. So I really do feel that given these currents in August, we do need to develop a separate clear clarity about the nature of each. And that's why I'm doing separate posts, because otherwise we'll feel confused, scattered, overwhelmed, and then even self-doubting and defeated. So I hope this post helps us see their divisive huge natures far more clearly. We can achieve so well if we handle these contradictory and very strong energies with perception, with knowing, with strength and with vision. So it absolutely is crucial to take stock, to check out what you feel and do the vision work at the start of August. And I'm aiming to get these done certainly and ideally within the coming week or two weeks. Now to see the Vedic and Western charts and the ephemeris Vedic and Western, for the August 24 planets, you can go to my Star Wheel Astrology website under the More drop-down, there's the month pages, and go to August. So here, to get in our minds, is the summary list of the huge currents that are flowing in contradictory directions this August. So post one and video one, that's this introduction. It states the overall picture. Post two puts Venus in the spotlight. Saturn is opposition Venus in the August full moon of the 19th of August. And then indeed Venus enters debilitation sign of Virgo on the 25th of August. And I have found that Saturn-Venus transits can be a tremendous opportunity for growth in perception of our blocks to the showing of love and our blocks to standing in and showing our value. So that's Venus in the spotlight, look out for that. Post number three is revolution in the spotlight. Now, <clears throat> there's a Mars-Jupiter conjunction in August, and that's following on from the 14th of July Mars-Uranus conjunction. So Mars-Uranus indeed conjunct the fixed star Algol was a huge energy of revolution for each of us and indeed for societies. How it will outturn depend on our spiritual perception our awareness and our management. But the point is, the Mars-Jupiter-July conjunction is going to be added to on the 14th of August 
by Mar sorry the Mars Uranus conjunction conjunct fixed star Algol of the 14th of August is going to be added to on the 14th I'm so sorry the Mars Uranus conjunction of the 14th of July conjunct the fixed star Algol is going to be added to a Mars-Jupiter conjunction this month of August on the 14th. So there we will be being impelled to bring in different revolutions in our life. But the essence of Mars-Jupiter is action man or action woman in relation to the nature of Jupiter, which is blessings, connection to the divine sense of purpose. This is our chance to see how the revolution energy is actually manifesting in our personal areas where we actually need to bring in revolution. The fourth video and blog, well, there's a very powerful T-square in August. As I said, there's a Saturn opposite Venus. Saturn opposite Venus. But it's a T-square. In other words, the Mars-Jupiter conjunction is square to Saturn and square to Venus. And so post four explains the types of energies and blocks that we need to be aware of in handling the crucial T-square all about Saturn, Venus and Mars, Jupiter. Post number five is about the current Neptune transit in Pisces conjunct the, yes, very dreadful energy of fixed star Shayat. So in this post, we focus on how to avoid possibilities for deception, false presentations, sensationalism, all the stuff that goes on, and create instead the positive potential that Neptune Shayat together can create energy flows which can open us to the, sp the true best spiritual potential of wonderful Neptune. Okay, blog and video six details Mercury retrograde from August the 5th to August the 28th. Checks out the dates the dangers and the positive potentials. Video and blog seven, Chiron is retrograde in August 2024. At 29 degrees Vedic Pisces, right at the end of the zodiac, in the deepest Gandanta, the Gandanta zones are water signs of fire sign transition points and they leave us unsupported in the materiality of this world but potentially that feeling that you get from that can open you to the god realm beyond and that's particularly the insights of say hinduism and tibetan buddhism so the fact that chiron is transiting the Gandanta at the end of Pisces this month is actually an opportunity for you and for me to gain true understanding of our wounds, true understanding of our existential wounds defined by Chiron in our charts. And indeed, as we go deep into the nature of our wounds and how to heal them, we can, of course, cross-refer to our Vedic and Western astrology for pointers. And indeed, um, I found great success with this. 
particularly, for example, by importing certain asteroids into the Vedic Astrology divisional charts, each of which, each divisional chart says something absolutely wonderful about an area of our life. And so if you bring, say, Lilith and Chiron, if you have those aspecting, for example, your Mars or your Venus, bring them into the divisional charts, the insights are tremendous. And indeed, you can combine this with past life readings and healings. So I'll be covering all that sort of thing. Now, in addition to those big currents, here's a few must-know factors. Well, Sun goes into Leo on the 16th of August, which is good for leadership energy. And we all need that. Sun gets an aspect from Mars on the 16th of August. Powerful. Mars is square Venus on the 23rd of August, so beware fights. And Mars enters Gemini on the 26th of August, so beware a run of arguments. Okay, just the lunations. Well, as usual, I'm doing a video and blog post for each. So the new moon on the 4th of August is at 18 Vedic Cancer in Ashleshya Nakshatra. And the full moon on the 19th of August has moon at three Aquarius in Danishta Nakshatra and sun at three Leo in Magha Nakshatra. So please do look out for these August videos and blog posts. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Because I really hope these posts will help us all to do the needed deeper perception work, deeper understanding work, and make decisions about the needed healing and empowerment work. So to get a reading from me, you can go to my Star Wheel Astrology website to see the healings offered worldwide by my wife Maggie Pashley go to her website, www.maggiepashley.com. These links are all shown at the foot of the um, YouTube screen and also in the blog post. If it applies to you, do have a look at my worldwide dating site for those on a spiritual pathway. Go to lovestardating.com. And yes, also subscribe to my Star Wheel Astrology blog if you haven't already done so. And join my Star Wheel Astrology Facebook page. So I hope this little introductory video has been useful setting out the program of knowledge and understanding and empowerment and healing work going forward that I think we each need to understand and do in August. So all blessings to us, each of us, in these contradictory current flows that we will need to have a better picture of and understanding as we swim through August. Thank you.